Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennis Tribune. I'm Jason Lux. This week, as you may know, we're doing everything Meharry. Meharry is one of four HBCU medical colleges in the nation, and this week is their annual commencement. To celebrate that, I thought I would come to one of the most exciting businesses in Nashville, Braces by Dr. Ruth, and this is Dr. Ruth Ross Edmonds. Hello. Hi, Jason. Thank Hi. you. Thank you Thank very much. Thanks for having us on such short notice. We appreciate it. So I want to talk about a bunch of things. I want to talk about your business. Um, I, and I want to tell you I love it here. It's so bright and uh, festive. It's exciting. Uh, I want to talk about your business. But first, I wanted to see, um, since you're a graduate of Meharry, mm -hmm. um, how, do you, how important do you feel Meharry is to the uh, Nashville community? I think Meharry is extremely important to the Nashville community. I think it's extremely important with African American dentists, African American physicians, African American health science professionals. I think that um, because of the way that we um, they teach us to serve the underserved mm -hmm. and encompass everybody as a whole, I still think that there is a place for HBCUs. I know some mm -hmm. people are saying, is there really a place for HBCUs? Mm -hmm. Especially now that affirmative action has been sliced again. Yes. <laughs> I think that it gives people more of a reason to look at an application, because most applications have a picture, look at a picture and compare the two and decide, oh, well, you know, these two are really equal, or this one's even a little bit better, but I don't like the way they look or yeah. the color. And so at least places like Meharry, everybody has an even playing ground. That's true. Now, um, did you go to uh, undergrad at HBCU or another school? Actually, I didn't. I went to undergrad at Vanderbilt University. So it oh, was okay. a different world when I got to Meharry. Literally. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Now, um, so, so you, Nash was in your blood then? Well, it's in my blood and it goes way, way, way back, but I'm not from Nashville. I'm actually from Gary, Indiana. Okay. But my dad graduated from Meharry Medical College in 1955. Mm -hmm. And then I followed in his footsteps, but I went to the dental school instead. Okay. And then I had two sisters, Rachel and Rebecca Ross, that followed in my footsteps on, on the dental side, and they came behind me to Meharry as well. Oh, okay. So everyone in the family is a Meharry graduate? Nope. I have a brother. He went to IU. Oh, no. Oh, wow. He didn't see life the way we saw it. He didn't see it the same way. <laughs> That's funny. I want to see that um, at Christmas time when we're talking about Meharry. Um, now, if you've been by Meharry lately, you've noticed they're doing a lot of building over there. They are. How exciting. I mean, yeah. Because there's usually not any building. And when I went to school there, we didn't even have heat. So my sophomore year, the entire year, I want to say it might have been a year and a half, it might have been the end of freshman year, all of sophomore year. Our classroom, where we spent the entire day, was under construction and had no heat. Wow. So every day I had to bring a heater to school. And then I was very popular at that point because everybody wanted to puddle around my so desk. My <laughs> <laughs> because it wasn't because you were the smartest. No, it wasn't because I was the warmest. Because I was the warmest. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Now, once you um, finished there, what made you decide to uh, open up your own practice in uh, Nashville? Well, you skipped a step, Jason. So, oh, let's rewind. Yeah, so let's rewind. So after I finished dental school at Meharry, then I went to residency. So oh, the yes. residency was in orthodontics because um, all dentists don't have to do residency program. Mm. So orthodontics is one of the most um, difficult residency programs to get in. So you don't choose them, they choose you. Oh, so they came from so, Yeah, so um, I attended the University of Tennessee in Memphis. Oh. So still in Tennessee, yes. but I'm not from Tennessee. And then once I finished, um, actually before I finish, what you typically do is you send out letters and see if anybody's interested in where you're going back. And um, I received one letter, they didn't need an associate, but they invited me to tour their office. So then my choices were limited if I wanted to come back to Nashville, so then that's when I decided to go ahead and open my own practice. And I never, wow. looked never looked back. Never looked back. So you're an entrepreneur. Mm -hmm. Well, then we definitely have to talk about that too, um, a little down the road. Mm -hmm. But first I gotta say, so you're a Vanderbilt, and a UT graduate? Yes. Oh, the confliction. Because <laughs> you know in uh, Tennessee, these Vanderbilt and UT people are like, oh, they go at it. Well, since I was never into sports, oh, they I don't know really Oh, okay. Well, you're not missing anything. You're not missing anything at all. <laughs> so, um, so you opened up your own practice. Now, um, do you enjoy being an entrepreneur? Oh, I love being an entrepreneur. I think that this was the best decision ever to go into business by myself, for myself 
And, you know, of course you have the growing pains and you have times where it's leaner and times where it's better and you, yeah. you, have, to pay, you have to plan, you have to structure your life maybe a little bit differently if someone, you know, you knew that you had a paycheck coming in. And I tell people, I said, well, when you start a business, I said, it's not that you get everything. I said, you get the leftovers because you've got to pay everybody first. Everyone you've got to first. do your overhead first. Yes. And then, you know, and sometimes the leftovers are a lot. Sometimes the leftovers are a lot. That is true. Entrepreneurs do know that, yeah, some days you may have a lot in the pocket. Next weekend it might be nothing, but it still feels good to, um, pay, you know, pay your own path. Mm -hmm. Set your own hours. It's perfect career for an African-American female because we're off every Friday. So, <laughs> so you know, and then yeah. if I want to take off, then I can. I don't have to answer to anybody. So. That's right. So they answer to you. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it's exciting. Um, now I want to talk a little bit about your business. It's called Braces by Dr. Wu. That's correct. So, first thing that I was struck by when I walked in was, do you only do braces? I only do braces. I'm an orthodontist. So, when you mm. specialize as a dentist, whether it's an endodontist, prosthodontist, periodontist, then that's the only thing you do. You specialize in just braces. So, a lot of our parents, and patients ask us, well, can, you, can we get our teeth cleaned here? And I'm like, oh, no, no, we don't do that. We have to go back to your referring dentist. Wow. Well, when I tell them that they have to have teeth pulled for treatment, they're like, are you going to do it today? I said, oh, no, I don't have any shots. I don't have any needles. <laughs> I don't do blood. You don't do any I that. just do braces. Just put the, put the braces on. Right. Wow. Now, um, when I was growing up, I remember kids with braces used to, you know, you call them like metal mouth, and they had those hey. jaws, like jaws from a... Uh, um, James Bond mm -hmm. and the rubber bands and everything. Is it still like that or is, have things changed? Well, you know, they've gotten a lot cooler. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you still you have the colors now. I know when I had braces, there were no colors. Mm -hmm. um, rubber bands are still a very prominent part of orthodontic treatment. Okay. That now they come in colors as well. Oh, wow. um, headgear is not as prevalent. We don't use headgear here just because we found other ways to do it. But headgear is still an awesome they way still to change with the, oh. it's, it's still that was tough. So they've come a lot of advances. Yeah. And it, as a matter of fact, we just launched something new, and this is called Excelident. And so when you have braces, you actually bite on this for 20 minutes, not very hard, and it vibrates. Mm. And so what it does is it actually speeds up the orthodontic process. Really? Mm -hmm. And so it's the only appliance uh, approved by the FDA to speed up orthodontics. So it can cut 30 to 50 percent of your time out just by biting on this mouthpiece for 20 minutes a day. So if, if it normally took someone two years of braces, that could drop it to 18 months to a year? Exactly. Wow. If they follow through with it. Now the cool thing is, is that um, it has a little piece where uh, you can plug it into the computer once we get here and see how much they've been wearing. So if they're like, this didn't work, and da 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 we're like, okay, well, bring your appliance in, and we can plug it in and see how much And you'd be like, wearing. no, 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 we haven't been using it. But it also um, helps with the discomfort of braces. But what it does is it stimulates the remodeling of the bone um, to oh. faster. So that's why it's just a you know it's just a mild. You can see it. It's just oh. very mild. Oh that's man. It. That's it. That's, that's great. That's all it takes. How long has that been on the market? Well, it was FDA. It's been FDA approved for the last two years. Mm. But we are actually the first practice in Nashville to launch this and offer this to mm. the patients. See, more incentive to come here uh, for your braces, um, definitely, because that was really cool. And it plugs into computers, you can check how much you That's get. right. We can check up on you. All right, but you can't get over. <laughs> um, now, also, another quick question. So, like I said, well, for those at home, if you ever come here, it's very bright. It's a lot of colors. Is that to make people feel more comfortable? Or people are usually kind of scared of the dentist, aren't they? I think people are usually scared of the dentist, but actually, I just have always liked bright colors. So today I'm kind of toned down my purple. It's still pretty vibrant, but I've always liked bright colors. So I think that every day is a bright and cheery day, and I think when everybody comes in here, it should be a bright and cheery day, and mm -hmm. it should make you smile when you walk in. Oh, that's great. Yeah, it did for me. I was like, wow. <laughs> I was, um, I loved it. I loved it. Now, um, my last question is, um, I usually ask when I speak to business owners on our show, um, I've noticed that Nashville is exploding. Um, that's my personal opinion. And it's a lot of stuff going on. How, how do you feel as a business owner about the business environment here now? Um, I mean, being in business for the last 13 years, I think that 
It's really hard to say. I mean, you feel the growth and you feel every, everybody kind of coming back into town, which is exciting because I'm located right in the heart of Midtown, yes. Nashville. And you feel the, the people, you know, kind of moving closer and closer in because before everyone lived out far. Yeah. And um, so I think that with everyone coming in, I think businesses will grow and grow and grow. And Nashville's attracting more and more people. That means traffic's going to be horrible and horrible and horrible. No, but, that's true. That part, yeah. <laughs> but we're definitely on the up and up, especially since Vanderbilt. You know, Vanderbilt, I mean, Second Avenue was just homeless people. So yeah, if you look so at us different. now, we've come so far. So I believe that you know, the sky is the limit. Well, that's great. I really appreciate you um, letting me come here today. I love the office. I love the energy. You have a great staff, too. Everyone's very friendly. Um, now, people want to know more about you. Um, can we get your phone number and uh, maybe your web address? Sure. Um, we can be reached here at Braces by Dr. Ruth, 615-321-3663. Or you can visit us on the web, www.bracesbydrruth.com. And we're also on Facebook, Twitter, and we have our own YouTube station. So come see us. Great, great. I appreciate that. And um, I want to thank you again for your time. And once again, you've been watching Take 10 on Tuesday with the Tennessee Tribune. See you next time.